The Endure Challenge for ODSC is one of the most difficult challenges that's ever been made for the MCC and just also ODST in general. Beginning a lot of questions on how to complete it, and this video will give you all the tips and tricks to know on how to complete this task in the most effective way possible. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. There we How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving our tips and trick video when it comes to Halo. Today we're talking about the Endure Challenge. If you don't know what the Endure Challenge is, it says complete the fourth set in four player firefight on heroic or harder must use built in firefight classic game variant. And for the reward of it, you get Blood Splatter Buck along with the chest wounded version of Romeo as well with 77,000 XP. Surprisingly, no seasonal points though, but it's all fine. So if you guys like these tips and trick kind of videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know if you want to see some more content like this. It really helps with the video so more people get a chance to see this video so they can learn some tips and tricks as well. So my main tip for you guys would definitely to find four people that you know that you like to play with because I accomplished this on the first night of release on ODST with me, uh, Patman Gaming, Rapscallion, and Golden Ninja Jimbo. We all got into the party together, put on Heroic, and went at it to see if we can get Endure, and we got it on the first try. So uh, there were definitely some learnings on the way here that I wanted to pass them on to you guys in this video as well. So number one tip is definitely find a squad of four that you can rely on. People that you know they are like, yes, these guys are logical players. They know what they're doing. We can do just fine because none of us are firefight players, but we were able to make our way through on the first try. Now the map that we chose is Oni Alpha Site. And I think the main reason why we chose this one is one is because there's really just two main spawn points out on the balcony where the uh, enemy can spawn at and they kind of get funneled down these two narrow hallways to come towards you, which is going to be a much easier way to lower the angles of attack that you can be hit from and so then you can pretty much just sit on the stairs and just pick people off as they come towards you it might be a little bit less entertaining but a much more efficient way to be it trust me though we after going through a few of these waves there was a couple times we actually kind of stressed out about you know, dying and having to restart all over again. Another great thing about Oni Alpha Site is that there are no engineers on this map. A lot of the maps, I know for a fact, like Crater and some other ones, they'll have engineers on them, which would double up the shields. Yeah, all you need to do is have a plus pistol, take out the engineers, they'll fly up and explode right away, no problem. But that's just an extra step you have to do. Why not just not have to bother with that at all and play on Oni Alpha Site? And obviously, since Oni Alpha Site is such a small indoors kind of area, there are no vehicles to worry about as well. Well, Lost Platoon might be more fun to play because there's more expensive and more things to do on that map, but it would be more difficult because they're dropping in wraiths, they're dropping in brute choppers, and a whole bunch of other stuff that's way more complicated that you have to deal with if you're just trying to get this challenge because you don't want to have to redo this challenge guys because it takes a long time to do. That's why it's called Endure. Also with the Oni Alpha Site with the bonus rounds, if you get a certain amount of points in those bonus rounds, you actually earn more lives. Those are super crucial, especially in the later rounds, obviously. And the cool thing about the Oni Alpha Site is that there are these two vents that basically all the grunts just hop out of, jump onto the ground in these two specific locations. So all you really need to do is just chuck nades right into the center of the map you'll get crazy multi kills and get the uh, extra kills a lot faster the main thing you have to worry about though obviously with grunts that uh, came across this quite often even on the uh, bonus rounds that they were just like walls of grenades being thrown at you because they have the catch school is on so they're all just initially just throwing grenades like crazy right at you so, you know, you have to pay your respects to the grunts, you know, give them a little respect on that one. But as long as you're kind of in range to toss a nade where they're landing, you get the kills really easy to add more lives to the bank. And then our big tip for you guys is provide yourself enough time. There's, there's a reason why this challenge is called Endure because it takes a long time to accomplish it. Uh, I believe it took us just under two hours to complete this on Oni Alpha Site. Now I know some maps will be faster or some people might be more efficient at killing at Firefight. Yeah, but you know, we're a bunch of Firefight noobs and so this is probably the best way we could have done it at the time. So make sure if you're teaming up with friends, because oftentimes when it comes to long games, the problem is that someone has to get up and go for dinner or has an appointment they need to make. So 
make sure you guys provide yourself enough time. Give yourself about two hours to complete this task and you should be able to get by just fine. Another major tip for you guys is to play your life. Your lives are more important than getting out and getting those kills. Yes, it's fun to get all the kills, get a high score and just kind of dominate on the, you know, the enemy AI. Of course, that's always really fun. I love doing it as well. Though the most important thing is stocking up on lives. If you guys don't know that you start out with seven lives and the max amount of lives you can bank on is 25. So as long as you're up into like the 20 count when it comes to lives that you have left over, then you won't have to stress too much about dying. But the main thing is like making sure to be patient, wait for the enemies to come to you and then pick them off one by one. I found that out the hard way because when I first started playing this round, I was actually kind of the guy who was dying a little too much. And I was like, okay, screw this. I'm going to stay back on these stairs right here. I basically, I called myself the stoop kid. If you guys ever know, hey, Arnold. Oh, child. He became so protective of his stoop that who so much as looked at it would face the wrath of the stoop kid. Well, all I did is just stay back on the stairs. I'm like, I'm right. I'm stoop kid. I'm not moving. I'm going to stay on these stairs. And uh, my deaths went down to almost nothing and my kills went up actually and my kill streaks went up and all that kind of stuff and actually finished second in our team for points over the entire game probably would have finished first if i did that in the beginning half of the game so yes yeah, very important to play your life make sure you're not overextending guys because those lives are gold you want to bank those as much as possible because when these waves get really difficult and they will especially when you get to set two wave five that's when things start getting pretty tricky. Another thing is that the plasma pistol is your friend. Uh, if you guys probably see me throughout this entire video, I'm using the plasma pistol to knock off the shields of the brutes, which actually knocks off their helmet as well. So then you just swap to a precision weapon, pick them off with a headshot, pretty easy peasy. I don't really remember it being that easy in Halo 3. I thought the brutes weren't really that affected by the plasma pistol, but I could be wrong about that. Uh, but the plus pistol will be your friend. You absolutely, and I mean absolutely, need to be using at least some kind of a plasma pistol or energy weapon like a uh, plasma rifle or something like that to kind of knock off their shields really quick because automag does not do that great of a job of taking out shields it's really only meant for taking out guys with no shields and going for those headshots the uh the science system G does a decent job actually of ripping off shields but you know after you lay out an entire clip you might be able to knock off their shields especially with the way these skulls stack up on top of each other that's another thing that gets a little ridiculous about how some of the uh, bulls will actually just ricochet around off them and not do any damage. While we're on the subject of weaponry, one thing I actually found really useful while playing with uh, with our friends here was that we all kind of had almost like weapon classes that we stuck with. Like Jim was the guy with the fuel rod and if we saw any fuel rods on the, on the ground, we called them out like, hey Jim, there's a fuel rod over here, go pick it up and he would run out and do that. Uh, I was mainly the guy with the plasma pistol and like a carbine for the most part. So when everyone saw a carbine, like, hey, Kevin, look to the east, look to the west or something like that. And you'll find a carbine for more ammo because uh, one of the skulls in is I believe it's called famine where the best possible ammo count you'll be able to find in a pickup weapon is like 40% full. Most of the time it's about 30%. And so it gets really tough to maintain that damage because you're so low on ammo constantly. And so being able to call out for your friends, let them know that, hey, this weapon's over here, this weapon's over there. Just keep track of what your friends are using and so they can call out for them to have them fill up their weapons and keep on their play style while you can continue yours as well. So you guys, if you follow these basic tips when it comes to firefight, you should be able to do the endure challenge just fine. Now I know that the hardest part would be to find people to play with when it comes to this because you have to do it in a custom game with classic firefight settings. Uh, so the main thing I would suggest you guys do is either leave a comment in this video to say like, hey, I'm looking to do Endure, you know, try to hop in and play some games, search, you know, share some gamer tags around. You can check out on Reddit at r slash Halo players. It's a great place right there. They kind of just get your name out there. Be like, hey, I'm trying to do Endure. Let's hop in and play. Actually, another great tip, guys. It's just go on to Twitch and see if someone else is like playing Firefight or playing as well. I'm sure a lot of people out there are also trying to do this Endure Challenge because obviously it's one of the more prestigious, more difficult ones to do. So it'd be kind of a fun thing to hop in as well. I can, you know, I get that quite a lot as well on my Twitch stream. People hop it in so like, hey, I'm trying to get a challenge. Do you want to party up and play? I'm like, yeah, sure. I'm down to do some campaigns or stuff like that. Also use the Xbox LFG if you're playing on the Xbox, guys. There is a unified Looking for Gamers section on there where you just post on it saying, Looking for three for ODST Endure, you know, send me, you know, send it in by kind of thing. It actually works. I've done it before and it plays out very well. 
Obviously, if you're playing on PC, you might have to find other means out there, but there are a bunch of other options for you to try out as well. So guys, if you follow these basic tips, you should be able to get through the Endure Challenge just fine. Let me know if this video helped you out in the comment section below. It'd really make my day. Honestly, it would. So if you guys like these tips and trick videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know if you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below if you guys were able to accomplish the Endure Challenge. If you like the content, make sure you guys subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.